Hey there, Cam here, and today I'm gonna make my own Clipio review. And Clipio is a brand new video creation app by the Vigios guys. And you're probably aware of Vigios, and it's an awesome video graphic creation tool. You can use it to create your intro videos, lower thirds, and other 3D animations that you can add to your video. And if you have that app as well, Again, like I said, you know that that's a great app. And if VGOs is developed to create those video graphics, this particular app is developed to create videos themselves. And like everyone else, I admit that when they announced this new video creation app, I was excited to check it out and test it myself. And now that I finally have an access to it, honestly, it was not what I was expecting because I thought this is a web app that you can use to create those longer videos that you can use for your landing pages and probably a web version of Camtasia or Create but I realized it's not although you can still use this to create those longer type of videos actually it's more of creating social videos which are shorter types of videos that you can post to Facebook and YouTube and other social media places which is still good right? And so right now, as you can see, I'm now here in the dashboard of Clipio. And just a disclaimer, I'm reviewing this app in this very early part of the development. This is probably the version 1. And I believe in the future, they will be adding more features as they go. Just like what they did in videos as well. And so how then can you get started from here? So as you can see, here's the one that I already tested. But let me now start from scratch right now. And for me to get started, I can do different things. I can upload my own video. I can also grab a, a video from YouTube, from Giphy, which are GIF animations that you can use as well. And you can also import your video graphics or intro and outro logo from Vigios. But of course, for you to do this, you need to have a Vigios account. And all you have to do is integrate that with Clipio. Unfortunately, when I try to do that, it's actually looking for the Vigios API key. And when I went to my Vigios account, for some reason I cannot find that. And I'm not sure if they still will be adding that in the future or I just can't find it. But anyway, yep, that's something that you can do here for now. But that's not the main feature of Clipio, so I'm not going to spend more of my time on that. Rather, what I found that's really fascinating about Clipio is that if you go here to stock videos, it's actually integrated with Shutterstock and in case you're not aware of Shutterstock, it's actually a Stocks Assets library wherein you can purchase photos and videos and illustrations and actually the pricing of the stocks here are somewhat expensive and <laughs> you can purchase one image for these prices and if we go to the footage category which are videos, again as you can see this is your pricing. So it's actually somewhat expensive if you will <laughs> purchase from here directly. But the good thing about Clipio is that from here, you can import videos from Shutterstock that you can simply use for your video creation. And this alone for me is really worth it, you know? <laughs> so even if you don't have some videos, I mean, you cannot shoot your own videos or you're looking for some footages that you can use. Man, Clippy already integrated their app with Shutterstock so that you can just use any videos that you want from this place. So what I can do then here is search for anything. So let's say for example, I'll search for people, then click search. As you can see, there's a lot of footages here that I can use from Shutterstock. So if I already find something here that I can use, I can click them but I can also click on load more for me to search for other footages that I can use as well and aside from videos as you can see here we also have some images that we can start using but let me start with some videos for now and maybe we can try this footage right here so let me just click customize and as you can see it's adding that to my timeline and all right it's already added and what it does it automatically opened this new dashboard wherein I can now edit my video and as you can see we can do a lot of things here and I can start by coming here to project name and add any project name that I want so maybe let's name it as demo click save 
and then here I can do a bunch of things and if you're familiar with a timeline this is a timeline and I can trim my videos like that so in case I don't want to include the start and end part I can always trim that unfortunately as of right now we still don't have that option to you know splice this video into two like uh, you cut it here and then you separate them as of right now we don't have that yet but I can always move this whenever I wanted to or if ca in case I don't want to use this I can always click the the X button to delete that and then in case you I want to add some more clip I can always click on this plus button right here and then I can either add media or animation if I click on add media again I can always search for videos images or audio and right now let's start to search for images as well and again let's type people here and maybe I, I'm creating something for a business video I can add this one for example there we go and here it is and unfortunately it's kind of stretched and uh, I can use this to scale it down and up but it's still lock on that aspect ratio of our screen right here i hope we have that option we're in we can just control either the height or width of this image but as of right now we still don't have that but anyway yep that's how to add an image to your video as well i'm hoping to have the to have a zooming in and out of the timeline right here like we should have a slider here to do that but again as of right now we still don't have that and for this hand right here I find it somewhat hard to transfer it to the place where I wanted it to be so again I hope that's something that they, they will improve in the future but yep that's how to add an image and a video to your timeline and of course you can always click this play button to play it and preview how it looks like so there it is so there we go and if you want to add uh, an animation as well I can always click the plus button add animation and as you can see there's a lot of ready-made templates here that I can use as well let's say for example I don't know let's try maybe this one there we go and so if I place my under right here and click play as you can see that's how it looks like and here I can always change the text if I wanted to I can change the font and all that also I can extend this if I want and I'm hoping I can do that with the image as well but as of right now I don't know I, I still cannot extend the image which I guess again it's something they need to improve but there we go let's so for example I just want to create a simple and short Facebook video ad about you know business partner or something this alone is already a video that I can use so I can play that and it's already working very well but again let me just show you some other things that I can do here in this uh, lower part of the timeline I can also click here and as you can see there are different options here as well unfortunately if I click this emoji right here I'm hoping that some window will pop up or I don't know somewhere here wherein I can add that emoji but again as of right now we still don't have that but here for the quotes I guess you can open it from here so I can always find some codes here as well so as you can see there's a lot of different categories of ready-made codes that I can add as well for example inspire there we go and let's say for example I want to add that somewhere here on the image maybe somewhere here or maybe on the image if I want I can click add to canvas I was hoping I can add this code on top of this image unfortunately it's it's not allowing me to do so and it's saying that there's no space available on the timeline to add extra animations and so I guess I can just add that after this image and again I'm having a hard time dragging that handle right there I don't know I'm not sure if I'm just not doing things correctly or this is something that they are still developing at the moment but anyway yep uh, I'm hoping to see that they will soon add that feature wherein you can just add this on top of any footage but as of right now it's either I don't know what I'm doing or it's still not available on the app but let's see some other features right here and even for the text if I click the letter T button right here and this is the graphics that we added but I'm 
thinking of how about if I wanted to add another text right here but again not sure where I will do that because that will be for this one but what if like after that I will also add the text right here so if I click that T icon again I don't know <laughs> I'm still not seeing a way to do that at the moment and so let's try the adding up audio as well let's say I want to add a background audio for this one we click that again I don't find any place here where, where I can do that but what I found is that if I click this plus icon and I will click add media I can actually go here to the audio tab and I can search for any background music for example enter and let's say I just want to use this one I can click add and there we go it's added here on my timeline so if I click on play as you can see we can add that background music right there and again maybe in the future they will add an option where you can add some fade in and fade out for your audio as well but again as of right now they still don't have that but let's go ahead and check out some other features available at the moment like for example we can go here to Mimify and I guess you're already familiar with this wherein you can add some graphics and text on top and bottom of your video but before we do that I guess we need to go here first to aspect ratio and let's say I want to make a square video and I can choose any of these let's just choose the first option and as you can see once I do that our graphics right here is not so good so I need to go here to media and I can drag to scale the element but it's doing that to my video not to my oh I realize I need to go on the text and click this and I go here to media I, I can drag to scale the element oops I wanted to do it here but for some reason it's doing it to my video so I don't know again I'm not sure if I, I just don't know what I'm doing or it doesn't work for this one at the moment so I don't know anyway let's just delete this for now and let's just work on our video and yep once I chose that square aspect ratio I can then go here to my video and yep I can drag the element so that maybe it will be placed somewhere in the center and I can also move this around and maybe just place it and make it even smaller so that we'll, we will have more space for top and bottom to mimify our clip there we go and then I can go back here to mimify and here I can I have the option to add only on top and bottom or on both let me just choose both for now and I can choose my text color and background color and for this demo let's just let's just leave it as white and black so I can add text right here then uh, another text here on the bottom if I want and then simply click done once I do as you can see uh, you already saw this a lot on Facebook and Instagram probably so I'm sure you're already aware of this so that's how it works you can add any text on top and bottom to mimify your video and then simply click done and once you're happy with this you can just click export video and you can name your video and then simply click export and yep so far those are the things that are working at the moment so again like I said it's not really what I was expecting and I'm not saying this to say negative things about the videos guys I know those guys are great again if you know videos that's a very wonderful app and and so we are expecting something great for Clipio as well unfortunately at the moment I just can't find a way to work on some of the features that are supposed to be available here but like I said this might be the the early development and maybe they are still working on them I have a great feeling that they will add those features in the future and so I still have faith on the videos guys in actually improving this video creation app that they started to develop I still highly recommend that you can use this because like I said even that Shutterstock integration alone is already a great thing you know <laughs> so for me for example if I'm uh, creating a video and I'm using my own desktop application and personally I'm using Premiere Pro and Camtasia and if you're using any desktop 
video editing app like Camtasia, Create, or whatever, what you can do is simply add some, you know, stock footages from here and maybe do some social videos like this one. But another thing that you can do is that you can export this video and, you know, continue editing it using your desktop application. So again, you can still use this as your secondary video creation app that can work together with a video editing app that you already have. Aside from that, I still highly recommend that you grab this while uh, they are having their very first launch of it so that you can get access to it at the lowest price possible because I do believe that once they go ahead and develop this and add those necessary features, they will be increasing the price more and more until they will perfect this app and again, the pricing will not be the same anymore. So even if it's still somewhat incomplete at the moment, I still highly recommend that you grab this as soon as you can. And you can do so by clicking the button that you can see below this video. And as always, if you do, I have amazing bonuses for you that you can see below this video as well. So yep, that's it for my Clipio review. So I look forward to seeing you grabbing this app still and using this for your video creation purposes as well. My name is Cham and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.